Mr. President, it has now been over 70 days, 70 days since hundreds of people were kidnapped by Hamas. In that time, more than 100 have been released, including four Americans. But eight Americans remain in captivity. And from what we've heard from those who have been released and rescued, it is likely they are enduring unimaginable suffering. One of the released Americans, four-year-old Abigail Moore Idan, was kept with four other hostages in above-ground apartments. She shared, shared one piece of pita bread per day with four others and did not have a shower during the entire 50 days in captivity. Her hair was cut because it was filled with lice. We've heard from others that they were kept in complete darkness for days. Some became, some became psychotic and experienced hallucinations. A child was given ketamine for weeks, while others were given sedatives like Valium. We've heard reports of self-harm among the hostages, while some who have returned have suicidal ideations. Many were subjected to psychological torture. A 12-year-old boy was forced to watch videos of the October 7th attack and threatened with a, with a gun when he cried. I have seen those videos. You cannot unsee them once you have seen them. I cannot imagine the nightmares that will plague that boy for the rest of his life. One man was told his wife was dead when she actually was alive. Others were convinced Israel no longer existed. A doctor who was treating hostages says that they were, quote, told, nobody cares about you. You are here alone. You hear the bombs falling. They don't care about you. We are the ones here to protect you. Most children lost between 10 to 15 percent of their body weight. These kids were starved. They had skin rashes and infections from being held in unsanitary conditions. Other children were branded, literally branded, with the motorcycle exhaust pipe to help identify them if they escaped. Many come, came back speaking only in a whisper because they were warned not to make any noises in captivity. Many hostages were deprived of medicine and proper medical care. One woman who was shot in the hand says a veterinarian performed surgery on her. Others were beaten with electric cables. Now, as the fighting in Gaza intensifies, the lives of hostages remain in jeopardy. I can't imagine what it be, must be like to live on only a piece of a pita a day for months. I can't imagine what it would be like to endure constant physical, psychological, and emotional torture for 70 days. We know that at least one American hostage, Hirsch Goldberg Poland, had his lower arm blown off by a hand grenade. His mother says his injury could have easily resulted in him bleeding to death. The treatment of these hostages are crimes against humanity. They are war crimes. And for those who remain in captive, we are running out of time. We cannot give up hope. We cannot abandon them. We must go to the ends of the earth to bring them back. These are American hostages, hostages from our ally Israel. We cannot stand quiet while they suffer. I yield the floor.